Today, I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to use Psych Tests. I won't be covering every feature available. My aim is to provide enough information for you to get started using the database with the hopes that you will have some success finding appropriate tests for your research. There are many ways to get into Psych Tests from the library website. Probably the easiest is to enter the name of the database, in this case Psych Tests, into the library catalog. And if I run that search, I get two results, both of which are what I'm looking for. And to actually get into the database itself, I select Click to Access This Resource. If I was off campus, I'd be asked to log in using Passport York. So I'm in the database, and I want to make sure that the box for Psych Tests is marked. And now I can start to put together a search. Today I'm going to look for tests that look at post-traumatic stress disorder among adolescents. So I can enter my search term, post-traumatic stress disorder, and I also want to limit my search to adolescents, and to do that I can select the options under the drop-down and select age group, and then go ahead and select adolescents, and that will limit my search results. So I'm going to run the search. For this particular search I get 21 results. Before I look at those, I'd like to suggest that it's a good idea to glance at the information that comes up on the left. You will see a bunch of information about the types of results you found, including indexing terms and text, test constructs. Note terms that you didn't use in your search, but which may be helpful for finding other tests that might be suitable for your research. Turning our attention to the actual search results, I see that some of the results provide a summary only. If I'm interested in taking a closer look at those, I can click on the test title for more information. But let's take a look at a record for which the actual test is provided. I'm going to look more closely at the Child Trauma Screening Questionnaire for which the test is actually available in the database. So I click on the title to see the summary. Included in almost every record will also be one or more records that contain information about the test development. So if I select one of those, I see that it provides information such as test reliability, validity, test constructs, indexing terms, as well as a whole host of other information such as whether permission is required to use the test. For this particular test, there are permissions required for use. Many, and perhaps most resources in psych tests, don't have permission restrictions. I'm going to go back to that basic summary information on the page we were just on, and I see that the record indicates that the test itself is available in PDF. Further, information about using and interpreting the test results is provided in supporting documentation. If I go back to the main search page, there are possibilities for limiting your search to records that contain the full text test itself, or to also limit your search to records that contain particular types of supporting documentation. I don't suggest using these limits in your initial search. However, if your searches are producing large result sets, these can be effective filters. For records that don't contain the full text test or supporting documentation, there are other search strategies that may help turn up this information. For an overview of these strategies, I suggest consulting the Guide to Finding Psychological Tests. You can access it from the library homepage by going into Research Guides and then selecting Finding Psychological Tests under Guides to Resources. You will find further information about tests under Test Information. You may also have some luck with the information provided under Is the Test Available at York? For further help, I suggest consulting the Research Questions Desk on the second floor of Scott Library.